Really appreciate you joining me today and this news is a follow up to a story that I originally covered a year ago. A lot more information has emerged now that they've been convicted and the police have said that the messages that they intercepted were from Operation Venetic which would be connected to EncroChat. There was four members of them and three of them have been convicted today and they used the messaging application to create a drug laboratory in Redditch in the West Midlands area. And a man from Birmingham known as the Geek was the one that operated it. The police have said that he was capable of producing 400 kilos of amphetamines every single month. And it was worth 2 million at wholesale and up to 10 million on street level. The drugs are distributed to drug dealers in the West Midlands, London and also Kent. The police have said in a statement today that the ringleader was called John Keat and he was 41 years old and he was from Buckinghamshire and he invested money from his legitimate career into dealing cocaine, cannabis and making amphetamines. He paid his right hand man Keith Davis, the prosecution said, who is from St Giles, to undergo chemistry training to enable him to operate the site. Another man called Andrew Gurney, 51 from Quinton in Birmingham, was known as the Geek and this was due to his specialist electrical installation and plumbing skills and he converted a double garage outbuilding into a drug laboratory. And Gurney also received the same training as Davis. The fourth man, Elliot Walker, 49 from South London, was an associate of Keat and he purchased the specialist equipment that they needed for the laboratory. Work started in March 2020 and they began producing in May of the same year and this was only a couple of days after EncroChat was seized. The gang initially brought amphetamine precursor chemical called BMK and they quickly realised that it would be more profitable to make the drugs themselves. NCA officers raided the site in Henley and Arden in Warwickshire on the 27th of April last year and they had the assistance of Warwickshire Police. The fire service also had to assist due to the noxious fumes that was coming from the plant and they weren't allowed to gain access for several hours. Waste from the production had also contaminated a nearby field and it took a long time for them to be able to sort this out and repair the damage. The NCA Commander Mac McMillan said in a statement, the investigation was painstaking and we identified an unassuming outbuilding in Warwickshire and this was in fact one of the largest drug laboratories they ever found in the UK. Keith Davis and Gurney went to extraordinary lengths to plan and prepare their criminal enterprise and it was capable of generating large profits. Searching and closing down the lab was a complex and risky operation and it was a, a great example of multi-agency cooperation to protect the public. The gang members were arrested on suspicion of drug offences at their home addresses on the same day. Electronic weighing scales were found in Davis's home along with 300 kilos of precursor for amphetamines. A number of documents and receipts were also found in Gurney's vehicle and these related to heating equipment identified in the lab, weighing scales and chemicals needed for amphetamine production. Officers also found PPE and this included respirators and also boots as well with traces of chemicals of amphetamines. Davis and Gurney pleaded guilty at Kingston Crown Court on the 8th of June following a 12-day trial and Keat pleaded guilty to all charges on the 29th of October last year. Walker pled guilty to conspiracy to produce a Class B drug on the 17th of September last year and he was jailed for six years on the 14th of December. Davis and Gurney are due to be sentenced tomorrow on the 10th of June and Keat is due to be sentenced on the 22nd of August. So this story is a really good example of how some people will try and keep very discreet and as the police said themselves, unassuming as well, in order to be able to operate some of the biggest facilities that were making drugs in the country. So I really want to hear what people have to say on this story and please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Follow me online as well at Scar City Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.